What up, y'all? It's your boy, D the Delinquent. Ow, I Kicking off a new playlist, the Rookie Baby Series. So, we're expecting a baby boy any day now. And we've been blessed by loving and caring friends and family with awesome gifts and necessities and a whole bunch of other things, to be honest, uh, we didn't exactly know we needed. But as the day keeps getting closer and closer, it's all starting to make a lot of sense. So, in these videos, in this playlist, I'm gonna be sharing some of those necessities, awesome gifts, great gift ideas, and later on down the line, some tips and tricks and cool hacks, and some cool experiences that we're gonna be going through as we're getting acquainted and adjusted to this new parenting rookie lifestyle. Anyway, to kick off this first video, we're gonna start off with this cool bassinet that was gifted to us by grandma. Shout out to grandma. The baby delight beside me wink. This bassinet is awesome, man. Of course, professionally packaged and in the box, it is lightweight. Damn near anybody can lift this baby up by themselves. To open this up, we're gonna use my favorite multi-tool, my Leatherman Wave Plus. Hell, make sure to go check out the video I made on this bad boy. You won't regret getting one for yourself, your friend, your family member, somebody you love or care about, whatever. So they can have it in their car, their house, their book bag, wherever. You won't regret getting this bad boy. I love this thing. Now, some people make fun of me because I never use a knife. I always use the saw whenever I open packages. But hey, it's my Leatherman and my life. You can open up the bassinet packaging from either the top or the bottom. You don't gotta cut around the sides or anything. Just go from the top or the bottom. Now this is the actual bassinet coming out the box. Fresh out the gates. This is how it looks, y'all. Everything packaged up real nice and secure, real professional and padded to prevent any damages or scratches during shipping. It also comes with a warranty postcard you gotta fill out and mail in and the instructions. Which is awesome, cause nowadays a lot of companies want you to use an app or go to a website, some link or whatever and watch a video or something. One thing I truly love about this model is there's not a lot of hardware involved. Which means, this ain't gonna take me all day to put together. And one huge pro about this is, I don't see any nuts or bolts or any kind of tools that I need to put this thing together. You got four boots, two right angle things, and two tie offs. That's awesome. Now, the instructions are straightforward. They got these easy to read simple pictures. Another huge plus are these spring-loaded clips, which make it damn near impossible to put this thing together incorrectly. So we start off with the base. I put the cushion aside in a safe place so it don't get dirty or anything. First things first is we gotta flip it upside down and install these two 90-degree angle clip thingamajigs and then the base bar. And it's super easy. These clips damn near direct you. Oh yeah, you gotta put the shoes on. Then we slide on the second base bar cause two's better than one. This adds more stability, strength, and security. Then we're gonna connect the bed frame together. It should be two pieces. And these also have the spring-loaded clips, which make it easy. And now we need more room, so I'm gonna put this table away and we're gonna flip this bassinet back on its right side and install this bed frame. All we gotta do is plug it into those two 90-degree angle clips. Make sure both ends are secure. I mean, after all, your baby's gonna go in there. And you wanna remember that the zipper side is gonna be where this 90 degree angle side goes up. This is the side of the bassinet that drops down where you can have it against your bed. You know, so you can check on your little one. Then, you're gonna grab that flap and slide it over that 90 degree angle bed frame piece side, whatever that goes up. Then you're gonna tug down on it, push it in, you know, make it look nice and pretty. And then you're gonna get those little pieces of uh, Velcro or whatever, and then strap it around that bar for extra security. Then last but not least, you're gonna clip on those two anchors, and you can just slide it underneath the mattress, going all the way to the other end of the mattress, or you can actually screw these into your bed frame, however you want. Just secure it. Then you're gonna put the mattress in and you are done, mofo. You are done. This was mad simple and fast. And since not everyone's bed is the same height, you can adjust the height to your bassinet to whatever you like. And in order to make that happen, you gotta press down both buttons on both sides like this picture right here. Push or pull up to whatever size, height, whatever that you need it to be at. 
Now, a bedside bassinet is definitely a must-have. It's convenient for parents and makes a lot of things a whole lot easier. But the market is definitely oversaturated with bedside bassinets. They come in all shapes and sizes with different options with different prices. But we absolutely love ours i only wish that it had wheels but that's it the breathable mesh walls the removable wash cover the seven position height adjustment super easy tool free assembly and it comes in different colors you can get this for yourself or you can get it for somebody else at a baby shower or something for only 150 dollars sometimes a 175 or whatever but you can get it for 120 to 150 easy all day and since i am an amazon affiliate i got the link below so there you have it a quick little show and tell and how to video on the baby delight beside me wink i can't wink for anything please give me a thumbs up subscribe and smash that notification bell and follow this new playlist baby i'm your boy d the delinquent oh, hey. Checking out. Much love, y'all. Peace.